Welcome back to another video for Monday, and it is currently 9 a.m. I'm tired as the heck. And I recommend you get HelloFresh. Well, it's kind of, I mean, like, it's worth it for the beginning, but afterwards, just get better at grocery shopping. Anywho, today we're going to be watching Charlotte Dobre's Incredible Acts of Petty reaction video. In case you didn't realize from the title of this video. But anyways, we're going to watch it now. Guys, these are some incredible acts of petty. But before I get into it, I just wanted to let you guys know that my new merch line, Petty Couture, is now available. You can grab that at shop.charlottedobery.net. And yes, they are velour tracksuits, okay? They come in three colors. We've got silver, rose gold, and black. And they come in sizes all the way up to quadruple XL. When I tell you that I literally live in these, I'm not exaggerating. They are fabulous. Go and get yours. All right, let's get into the petty. Let's get petty! I'm back for a nightly tuna snack because I didn't eat dinner because I'm petty. So usually when I make dinner for the fam, I end up cleaning it after all. So I do all the dishes and I'll put away the dishes. So I, be, I do dinner and I clean the dinner. No! Anyways, not to name names, but let's just say one of my sisters made dinner tonight. And when she makes dinner, she makes it a point to say, hey, I cooked, so you clean. Oh. And like, usually I wouldn't have a problem with that. Like, that's fine. I'm freaking clean. Except. <laughs> but when it comes to this sister, <laughs> I'd rather start. She made a really nice, juicy, yummy looking salmon. Everybody ate. And she offered me. She's like, do you want some? And then I looked at the pile of dishes in the sink, and I was like, I'm okay. Thanks so much. And I ran upstairs and I didn't eat. Oh, wow. So unfortunate. Like, I would have totally enjoyed the salmon. But you didn't want to clean. So <laughs> Here funny. I am eating lettuce tuna. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, you know? And I know that. I know, like, it's not worth it. And fighting is so stupid. No, you told me. I asked you guys. Do you guys want tuna? You guys all said no. My eyes. They burn. So you have to do the dishes by yourself. I gave you one glass. Wait, twenty minutes for me. That's my point. That's my point. Yeah, your point. That's my point. That's my point. I'm looking for stuff for my point. That's my point. I guess the kids were not satisfied with salmon, so oh my god. Oops. Oh no. No 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 no. We're gonna need that. I gave it away. Well, you know what? It's fine. This little Superman curl is pissing me off. Anyways, you guys know the deal. Sriracha. Yes. Oh, she out. She better be out of tuna mayo. Mustard. I mean tuna mayo. I'm just saying. Salt and pepper, green goddess. Mix it up. I wish I had avocado. I wish so bad I had avocado. Let's do this. Texans are saving big on electricity with ultimate summer pass from TXU Energy. 50% off energy. That looks She's absolutely hurry. delicious. <laughs> She's here. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do a double boat. And then we bite it. Sima. Sima, you're spilling everywhere, man. What? No. No, she's not taking it. I'm assuming that's the sister that you talked to. Let me just get it straight. If you cook, someone else does the dishes. It's the way it works. This is the it's law. How it works, but okay? does it there is happen? no other way. If you call the police and complain, they will say, just no, kidding, sorry, okay. you're going to go to jail. You're supposed <laughs> Fun fact, in 2014, a Chinese man spent $40,000 buying all the movie tickets to the first showing of Transformers Age of Extinction at four of the six Beijing IMAX theaters to prove to an ex-girlfriend she had made a bad decision leaving him. Seven years earlier, the man known only as Wong was in his fourth year of college in Nanjing. 
His girlfriend wanted to go see a movie, but he was so poor he couldn't afford two movie tickets. Because of this, she broke up with him and moved to Beijing. Wang posted the story on Chinese social media platform Weibo. You said when you left for Beijing that I will always be that way. I've been working hard for the past seven years because of that sentence, and today I spent half my monthly income to book all the seats in Beijing IMAX theaters. I just oh, want to wow. say maybe your choice back then was wrong. Yeah, Wang said in his post he wanted his message shared until she saw it, and would give anyone who reposted his message one of the movie tickets for free. Wang's post was reposted more than 110,000 times, got 35,000 comments, and Wang gave away 1,600 tickets to the opening night viewing. Wang's ex-girlfriend did get in touch with him after seeing the message go viral. They chatted for a bit, but didn't rekindle their relationship. Okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> you shouldn't. Oh it's always God. funny when people don't see your potential. <laughs> if you're watching this, hi. How are you? Wow, all of that. $40,000 worth of petty. I'm going to let that sink in for just a second. Would you spend $40,000 to prove that you're petty? <laughs> All right, we've got a fan submission. If you guys want to submit your petty revenge stories, just check out the description of every single video. There's the links where you can submit them. Don't email them to me. Vanessa's got to vet them. All right, she's got to vet them. Make sure you guys aren't crazy. They are anonymous, so if you ever wanted to see your story on my channel, definitely do that. My BFF oh. drew a red dick on my access sidewalk. Okay. Long story short, I had a two-year relationship with this guy and ended up pregnant with twin girls. Oh, shit. He furiously cried when I gave him the news, and less than six months later, after a lot of cheating and gaslighting, he broke up with me. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Absolutely not. <laughs> he said he was going to do his part with the alimony. He's not rich, but very well off, so that wasn't a problem for him. I was pregnant and alone, so my BFF offered to come live with me to help with the kids. Oh, that's nice. But ever since they were born, I had no peace with him. He's a terrible father and constantly chooses women and booze after our kids, making up ridiculous stories about being busy and would never show up even on their birthday. Oh my goodness. But he has a lot of free time to spend in bars and with friends and women. So tired of seeing me crushed about it, my BFF asked me if I could drive her to his house and draw a very huge red... <laughs> ...on the sidewalk with permanent spray. <laughs> Okay, we're vandalizing. I see. I see we're vandalizing. I don't know if I support vandalizing. Vandalism nation. But I think in this case, I'll give it a pass. Message <laughs> sent. He never failed a single visit after that. He sued me for that, but since he has no proof, we're fine. Ooh. Ooh. Hopefully this doesn't count as an admission. If I knew a dick would solve my problem, I would have done it years earlier myself. <laughs> All you need in life is a big red dick. <laughs> Oh. Okay, maybe not red, because that's a little bit concerning for, for for you and him, but you get my point. Thank you for sharing. So petty. So del delicious. Deliciously petty. Oh my god. Gobbled that one up. <laughs> Making my husband's favorite meal. Okay, one more, and then we're gonna end the video. Because it's kind of long. Whatever. <laughs> Anything you pick. Top it with some parmigiano, cilantro, I'm easy in the wine. How delightfully passive aggressive, <laughs> my dear. So cute. Sends the perfect message, doesn't it? I'll scratch my head. I'll shower in a couple days. Oh, my thank you. What is it that got faded? Faded down away after I got faded. Okay. She's hilarious. Okay, well, that's the end of the video, and you should go watch Charlotte Dobry because. She's pretty fucking funny. Toodle, bye, love you guys.